What is going on? Saturday morning. I'm headed today to the uh, gun range because we are qualifying today for the PD and uh, gonna do some other practicing and stuff out there. And I'm gonna do a video while I'm driving. Oh my gosh, she's doing a video while I'm driving. I had several people comment on older videos where I ever do these every once in a while. I'm going down the road, just kind of talking. Got my camera mounted up there. And uh, I don't really look at the camera, but people like to have something to say about anything. You're a, uh, you're filming while you're driving. It's absolutely no different than having a conversation with someone in the passenger seat, which we've all done before. I'm not on my phone. So anyway, on Facebook this morning, which is always, almost always a bad idea, uh, in, in one of the groups, actually in our group, the inner circle, uh, if you guys don't know, don't know what that is, I'm not fully awake yet, so bear with me, but there'll be some links down below. Uh, but it's our private Facebook group. It's uh, the only one I really look at much, but a recurring thing just comes up over and over and over again. I wanted to talk about it this morning, and it's, it's probably my biggest, I guess, pet peeve in our industry, uh, and it's, it's two words, and I'm going to say them. I'm just going to go ahead and say them. I may throw up a little bit. Roof pump. Okay, roof pump. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. You guys know I'm not a big fan of the roof pump, but what probably what perturbs me more about it is the terminology. Um, so let's break this down and talk about it. And I want to give you guys my perspective and understand some of this is a little tongue, tongue in cheek. Again, I can't, I guess my tongue is really stuck in my cheek because I can't talk this morning. But uh, it doesn't matter what you call things. It's just that I see guys call things wrong things all the time and so I wanted to kind of go over that and just give you guys a little more info maybe the backstory as to where these terms come from in our industry so we've got um, we're in a growing industry that's not that old we're less than you know we're two decades old or so and guys have been cobbling together systems putting things in place to be able to clean things for a long time yes there are purpose-made things out there for us, especially on the pressure washer side of the house. Uh, a thing that we've noticed in the last few months as we're rolling out some of our products uh, to the big major, I'm talking about multi-billion dollar distribution companies for pressure washing. That's all they do is pressure washing global. Uh, they don't know crap about soft washing. They don't have hardly any soft washing parts in their catalogs, in their supply chain. So they know they need to get on that. They need to be about that life because that's sort of the future of, of cleaning is getting more into the lower pressure side. Uh, but the industry is still making a shift that way and it's, it's still gonna take a lot of time. And even with the, the jargon and the words, the terminology that we use, it's still kind of really rudimentary and base level. And so I'm gonna do my dangest to elevate our conversation level so that we're at least using correct terminology. For those of us that know what we're talking about, it doesn't really matter. We, I know what you mean when you say roof pump. Uh, what a guy means when he says that, what he's actually talking about is a agriculture style, gas powered soft wash system, okay? And let me caveat that by saying, none of those things are made for soft washing. That's why I'm not a fan of them. I try my best not to just talk absolute crap about them because that's my personal opinion. I don't think they're very good I know guys use them and have success with them. I know companies build equipment that, and they utilize those pumps. What it is, is a lack of, uh, a lack of a good product in the marketplace and the industry is always looking for the next mousetrap. And that's fine. You know, I don't, personally, I don't care what you use, just go make some money. I'm just telling you guys, we're not gonna build any equipment with those things because I don't like them. Doesn't matter, it's just my opinion. But we can do whatever we want because it's, it's us, right? You guys do whatever you want. Um, but. But what is actually technically wrong is calling it a roof pump. Um, I'm gonna pull over here at the gas station, so I'm gonna wait to fidget. I've got some props over here in the passenger seat, but um, if we go back 40 years, go back into the old forums and stuff and read, where did this lingo originate? Well, guys have been downstreaming, I guess since the dawn of man, you know, God made downstream injectors on like the third day of creation. And so everybody was able to downstream and clean all of the, this is how, <laughs> this is how stupid we are. <laughs> we could clean the walls, right? With our downstream injector. So we had the, the walls took care of. And, and in, in the 
the avatar dude's mind in the industry in the whole nation the world downstream injector was for walls and then roof cleaning kind of became a thing in the mid to late 80s my dad sort of pioneered that and uh you couldn't clean a roof with a downstream injector because you couldn't get a strong enough chemical ratio mixture and so if you go way back into the old forums and dig around you know you got your lighter like indiana jones you cutting through cobwebs and you come through the forums and you'll find posts of guys way back when with 12 volt pumps fat boys and stuff like that and they're calling this a roof pump it's my roof pump right there like yeah, guys, I, I didn't got into some roof cleaning. I don't know why. I just think it's. Now, uh, I've been washing, you know, a long time, but I, I put myself together one of them 12-volt roof pumps, and that's very common on those old forums. And we've been calling things that ever since. And so a couple years ago, people started using the gas-powered systems because they just put them into bypass in a long loop, which is, again, really, I, it's not... It's not a good way to do it. You can make it work, but it's not, I don't like them. But regardless of that, really base level brain waves here says roof pump, ugh, roof pump. It pumps roofs. So where that becomes a problem is the new guy coming into the industry, they see that lingo all over the place and they really like, what are they talking about? It, it pumps roofs? Like <laughs> the guys, you have to understand, once you pass the three year mark and you know all the stuff, there's still guys back here where you were originally and they don't know crap. And so they're seeing the words roof pump and it's just, it drives me insane because it's not, this was never a roof pump. This was a soft wash system. If you use a booster pump, right? You can use a booster pump and a generator. Uh, there's companies out there that put booster pumps on engines with a gearbox and they have gear driven booster pumps. It's really expensive and really a really goofy way to do it. it does, it's fine, it's fine, but I don't like I don't like that either. It just is too. It's not right. Okay, but that's not a roof pump either. Uh, air diaphragm. You know, air diaphragm rig, compressor, air diaphragm. It's not a roof pump. Okay, it's a soft wash system. For the love of all things holy, stop calling it a roof pump. Uh, I know nobody's going to do that. I know I'm not going to change anybody's mind on what they want to call it. But to me, it's just very kindergarten level of thinking. And I'm not not making fun of anybody. I'm just saying we kind of get caught up naming things things and not really thinking about what we're naming them and here's the truth not a lot of things actually hardly anything in our industry is tailor made for soft washing here's another example hudson float valve that goes in your water tank and it's your auto shut off so we're going to call this our this our, our soft wash tank valve no it's not it's made for moo cows so you got a moo cow on the front so the industry grabs things like this we grab things like the gas powered agriculture pumps for farms and we start spraying bleach with it. And now we say, this is my roof pump. Well, it's, it's not, you can make a soft wash system out of probably a dozen different kinds of pumps, but it's not, let's stop call if we can, if y'all, if we could, <laughs> could we try to migrate over to at least trying to call it a, a, a soft wash system that you've set up that works instead of a roof pump because it's not the right lingo. You wouldn't have called it a stucco pump, right? You can't really downstream much stucco, but because the roofs were the next big chunk of money that was out there that guys wanted to grab that money, this the baseline thinking said roof pump. And they we just, I don't think nobody meant to name it that. It's just that that's kind of the name that has been given. So it's not a roof pump, no more than this was ever really a roof pump. None of these 12 volts. Those companies are not, we're not a big enough industry for multi-billion dollar companies, million dollar companies to make purpose-made products for soft washing. And so like this, that's a GF metering valve, okay? We may call it a soft wash metering valve. And again, I'm not saying it's wrong to do that. I, I probably call it that too, but technically that's not a soft wash metering valve. It's not. And when we released the first ever actual soft wash metering valve, that bad boy right there, the Batch Buster, we had guys in the comments saying, that's not the first metering valve. They've been metering valves forever. Not what I said. I said, this is a metering valve and it can be used for soft washing. And you could look at your rig and say, yeah, that's my soft wash metering valve. But that's fine, but it's it's technically not a soft wash metering valve because George Fisher only know who soft washing is. They're not aware of this market segment. It's not and ain't never been made for soft washing. People are looking at me 
uh, talking to myself in my truck like that dude's weird. Uh, yes, I am. But not purpose made for soft washing. It's fine. We know what we're talking about. But the new guy coming in doesn't know everything that you know in year two and three. That's a purpose made soft washing part, right? Batch buster, it's a metering valve. Um, we're working on a lot more products for the market that are actually gonna make this look like child's play. Um, a metering valve, very cool, but the industry, as it continues to grow, it will eventually have purpose-made doodads that are for soft washing. And, and I'm not, look, I'm just being funny this morning, but that's not a soft wash valve. That's not a soft wash auto shut off. This is not a roof pump. It's a freaking 12 volt electric that we use to spray and we can make a soft wash system out of that. The Facebook post that I saw was a guy, his wife's dad is a farmer and he was trying to give him a gas powered, it was, I think it was an AR40 or something, one of those, I think it was an AR45. Um, and he was like, guys, my father-in-law is trying to give me this. He says I can spray with it. What is this? And the comp, the first comment says, that's a roof pump. It's not a roof pump. That farmer ain't never called it that. Let's call it what it is. It's an agricultural pump, right? It's an air diaphragm pump. It's an air diaphragm pump. Can you make a soft wash system out of it? Absolutely, you can. You can make it work. They're really dumb, but you can make them work. Everything fails anyway, so you know what? Just pick your poison. You just kind of have to pick what you like. We like electric-based systems, so that's what we use. But even that Remco is not a soft wash pump. We just use it for soft washing. That's why Remco is not going to warranty this thing once you run bleach through it. Can you run bleach through it? Yep. I got a local guy here in Roanoke that's got a year on a Remco pump. He takes care of it, but just understand it wasn't engineered for the soft wash world. So guys, as we keep pushing the envelope, growing the industry, we will start getting things that are made, tailor-made for us, that'll be better for us. And it's gonna take companies like us and others out there that can pull off things like that, that'll you know be really nice for the industry so that we're not having to cobble together stuff from the farm anymore and uh, agriculture sprayers. A lot of our stuff comes from the agriculture side. So those roof pumps are the same thing. It's just, it's not a roof pump. Hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Stop calling it that. We'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.